How many people use search engines? Everyone, I suppose. Search engines are the primary source of a significant portion of all website traffic. People are unlikely to be aware of you until they use a search engine to look you up, unless you are a well-known brand like eBay or Amazon.com. Even large companies need search engines to drive the majority of their traffic. The majority of online traffic is now generated by search engines, and this trend is expected to continue. I believe this will be an exciting journey for both of us. Today, we'll cover the first module of this course, which will be a detailed introduction to search engine optimization. So, welcome to class. Even though search engines increase website traffic, you must keep in mind that there are half a trillion websites online. Even if someone searches for a product you offer, it's likely your website won't appear on the first page of results. If your query is well-targeted and you're fortunate, you could rank in the top 100 of the millions of results returned. If all you want to do is show your family pictures from your trip, that would be okay, but if you want to sell anything, you need to show up higher in the search results. Most of the time, you want to rank at number one on the first page, since that is the result that everyone looks at and clicks on. Now, how do you reach your audience? You can get to your audience by understanding your demographics, figuring out why they use search engines, is it for research, shopping or entertainment, and discovering the necessary elements for getting high keyword rankings. Having explained all this, what then is SEO? SEO is an acronym for Search Engine Optimization. It is the process of improving the visibility and ranking of a website or web page in search engine results pages, SERPs. In other words, it makes a website more visible to search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. A search engine is software that automatically scores the internet for results matching a user's specific query in real time. In response to a user's query, a search engine will provide relevant results, which are called the Search Engine Results Page SEERP. SEO can be done in many different ways, but some of the most common include optimizing the website's content, structure and code, building backlinks, and increasing the site's social media signal. Generally, the higher a site is ranked in the SERP, the more traffic it will get from searchers. Google Search, Bing, and Yahoo Search are the most prominent search engines used to locate information on the web, and with these search engines getting smarter by the day, it is imperative that you use legitimate tactics to achieve natural visibility. Therefore, SEO can also be defined as the art or science of affecting website visibility in search results, ruling out the use of manipulative ways to trick the search engine. Google has laid out guidelines that must be adhered to to ensure that site owners use appropriate tactics to implement SEO. Having explained a little about SEO, what then is the importance of search engine optimization? Search engine optimization is important because the vast majority of online experiences begin with a search engine and global search engines are used by billions of people every day. If a website is not optimized for search engines, it is likely that potential customers will not be able to find it. As a result, the website will miss out on valuable traffic and opportunities for conversions. Additionally, a website that is not optimized for search engines will have a lower search ranking, which can further impact traffic levels. Users trust search engines, and having a presence in the top positions for the keyword the users are searching for increases the website's trust. To take advantage of this and gain visitors to your website or customers to your online store, your website needs to appear in one of the top positions. Therefore, how does SEO work? Search engine optimization raises a website's exposure and rankings by improving the quality of the content, doing keyword research, and acquiring inbound links. 
However, SEO efforts can take months to bear fruit, whereas their effects may be seen immediately on the search engine results pages SERPs once a page has been crawled and indexed by a search engine. There are two major factors for progress in SEO, which are ranking and visibility. Ranking is the main factor that search engines use when deciding where to rank a website. Positions range from zero to the whole number of search engine results for a given query, and a website may only have a single ranking at any given moment. Web page rankings may shift over time for a variety of reasons, including but not limited to increased competition in the search results pages SERPs and updates to the search engine's ranking algorithms, while the phrase visibility refers to how prominent a domain name appears in a search engine's results. The converse is true for domains with high search visibility. When a domain has high search visibility, it appears in the results for more relevant search queries. Ranking and visibility are critical to achieving the two primary goals of search engine optimization, which are traffic and domain authority. And with these explanations, I leave you to do more research about the basics of SEO. And in the next class, I'll be teaching you about spam issues in search engine optimization, so prepare your mind as we begin to delve into the key parts of this course. Take care, see you in the next course.